Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video I want to show you my newest custom which is an original design and I'm really excited about this one because the customer contacted me and he gave me some very minimal pr parameters. Wow, I almost said a word that's not parameters at all. He said basically uh, for the story for this figure the character could be an angel or it could be a demon make a badass angel or demon type of anime inspired video game inspired character completely up to you. So I could do whatever I wanted really as long as it was either angel or demon along those lines. So I thought, well, oftentimes in anime and video games we get characters that have kind of a, a mixed background, a mixed story kind of thing. Good and bad, fighting over itself and that kind of thing. So I decided to go the route of an angel who was no longer a heavenly angel. He was now a fallen angel and had a little bit of this demonic power within him. So I decided to interpret that in the figure by making him mostly kind of like an angel without quite so much of that really holy and flowery and cool like uh, uh, whimsical type look. Make him a little more spiky, a little more dangerous looking and then give him that demon power kind of coming through on the left side both in his eye and in his arm. And of course he has weapons to match. Uh, so let me take him off the stand and I'll show you guys uh, what I did. I'm not going to cut this video up because I was talking, whatever, you don't care. Let's look at the figure. All right, so first of all, he's got the uh, spiky helmet, because I thought that looked cool. I, I really like the look of like the Nightmare character in uh, Soul Calibur, and lots of armor has uh, spikes on it, on the helmet. So I kind of went that route, and this is all sculpted. The head is 100% sculpted. The All of the armor on the arm, except for the spikes, that's all sculpted. Half of the armor down here is all sculpted. Half of it is from Tyrael, from NECA. I added a little bit of a, a blade to his fist there, so he has that. Uh, the base body is one of the uh, Wrecking Crew guys. I don't know which one it is. Maybe Bulldozer, it doesn't matter. They mostly have the same mold. So I added all that to him. I added a belt. I re-sculpted the uh, hips and legs completely and boots and everything, so I gave him those baggy pants and these kind of knight-looking boots. And then for this arm, I wanted that to be his arm where the demonic power was kind of coming out, so he's got these really gnarly-looking bone spikes coming out of the arm, and they're coming out of his hand up here a little bit, kind of like uh, like Doomsday. And you can see his skin through the tears on the glove, so that's all sculpted. And on this side, I thought it would be cool if he used like a really evil-looking axe, and on this side, more of an angelic-looking sword, which was handy because Tyrael came with a sword, and he had the hand that I needed. I was originally going to use a lot more of the parts from Tyrael, but I decided to go for an original look a little bit more. And that's what I went with. So the flesh tone all has super minimal shading on it, just because I really don't like heavy shading on skin. I think it looks weird. The demonic arm has a little bit more shading on it, but not too much. And obviously it has a different finish. It's kind of like, uh, not leathery, but it's got a different look to it. I didn't want it to look like he just had purple skin. I wanted it to look like he had purple demon skin. And everybody knows demon skin is kind of shiny. I just wanted to differentiate it that way a little bit, so I did. He's got the gray gloves on both sides, so I made it look like just on this side the uh, spikes were coming through and he no longer had the armor that he would have normally had. And then obviously the pants are just black with a gray brush, dry brush on top. And then we have just silver and uh, gunmetal metallic parts with some recessed painting in there. And for the face, I wanted it to look kind of like it had that Magneto from the 90s cartoon look where his face is all in shadow once the helmet's on. You can only see his eyes glowing through. So I gave him the uh, normal white eye on the angel side. So if you look at like that, you just see the white glowing eye. And if you look on this side, he's got a uh, red and purplish demonic looking eye peeking through on there. So that's what I went with and how I did this um, in terms of the technical aspects of it a little bit. I had to take the whole thing apart and I hollowed out both of the shoulders so that the arms could move around freely. Especially on this side since I had to sculpt all of this armor up here. I hollowed out the shoulder a little bit extra and I hollowed out or I carved out part of the shoulder itself, not just the socket. And I sculpted on top of that. So that retains all of its original articulation. It's only limited by the spikes and by this armor up here. Obviously those are going to bump into each other at some point. I connected the spikes by putting steel rods into the shoulder so that those are really solid in there. These guys won't break off. Unless you grab them with pliers and whack it with a hammer, those are going to stay on there, no problem at all. 
So that's how I did that. And for this part, where I had to mix the Tyrael arm with the um, Wrecking Crew guy's arm, I just kind of uh, treated it like an amputee, and I created the uh, Tyrael arm to be kind of like a prosthetic, and I put it on that way. And then I had to sculpt the extra armor around, around the elbow and forearm to match, and to just give him a little bit of extra meat there, so I did that. And that's about it, I guess. That's enough. If you're from the uh, Patreon, from my Patreon thing, you guys saw the process of this whole thing. So I'm curious what you guys think about the final product. And if you didn't see the Patreon videos, you might check out my Patreon account. You do get to see behind the scenes type of stuff. And if you don't want to, that's cool too. But uh, for those of you that did, uh, let me know what you think since you guys got to see the entire making of process. I'm curious what your thoughts are. But there you go, guys. There's my original character design for my customer who wanted an angel-y, demon-y guy. And, and that's it. So there you go. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.